New tonight at 10, a local teen wants to give the community hope through music. She's put together a song giving words to the range of emotions many are still feeling even now, two months since that deadly shooting at the Chiefs Super Bowl celebration. KSHB 41's Alyssa Jackson shares her voice. Music is an art. It has the power to be a form of expression. In the heart of the city where the cheers did resound. At 14 years old, Claire Brown creates art that comes to life in these sessions with her vocal teacher. Well, what is you guys' typical structure? Um, first thing, she gives me the T for about two minutes. That's <laughs> oh, <never mind. laughs> cool. <laughs> uh, we warm up. I have been coming here ever since I was in fourth grade, and I'm now in eighth grade. This room is pretty much for the finished product. It all really starts in her notebook. When you go through my notebook, it's almost like you're going through my diary because that's how like personal and intimate it is for me. Claire's last entry was on February 14th, a day that's hard for anyone to forget. It says, but tragedy struck in the blink of an eye because, I mean, everything was going so well and it was so great. And then just like that, it happened. We were driving home and I remember hearing it on the radio. It was crazy. And so I got home and I went down to my piano and I picked up my notebook and I just started writing. When her parents found the song, there was one thing they knew the fans and the shooting victims at the Super Bowl celebration really needed to hear the most. Glimmer of hope means that there's always light in the darkest of places, even when you don't know that it's there. For the spirit of the city will not be torn apart. Music has its own superpowers, the ability to make people happy, motivated, sad. But after what thousands of people watched, it needed to heal. Kansas City, Alyssa Jackson, KSHB 41 News.